Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 20th of August, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. St. Bernard was born in Burgundy in the year 1109. He was a sister and monk. He is known as the second founder of the Western monasticism after St. Benedict or else you can even call him someone who rejuvenated monastery life in, in the West. He had a power in him, a power to bring people together for Christ. He had such power in his words that he could move people. And that's how when he joined the Cistercian monastery, he brought with him 30 more people. And then afterwards, in his 37 years as abbot, he nearly 139 uh, monasteries he built, he formed. That, that's what his power was all about. There were so many people who would really understand his words and come towards Christ. So St. Bernard later, uh, he, was, he became also a political person in the sense like many kings heard to him and they were ready to follow Christ upon his word. And that's where his role comes uh, in the Crusades. When the Pope then was one of his students, one of his earlier students who now is now the Pope, he wanted Bernard to preach for the Crusades. Bernard went all over Europe going from king to king, prince to prince, and uh, motivating them towards, uh, towards the crusades. And that's how the cru first crusade happened, and that's how Bernard was able to be the voice that was motivating people towards Christ. He would walk before the crusaders, motivating them to give their life for Christ. And there was a time where in Europe all men left, left towards uh, the Turkish land, left towards Jerusalem in order to protect the Holy Land from the Islamic invaders. So today, dear brethren, as we celebrate this great saint, Saint Bernard, he also is known for his love towards Blessed Virgin Mary, his love towards her rosary. The Memorare is a prayer according to St. Bernard. Such a beautiful prayer. Remember, O most glorious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, whoso have fled to thy protection. This protection that he was speaking was in the context of such a turmoil that was going on in the world at that time and the risk of lives that the crusaders were keeping. But later, the Crusades became a political drama with so much of vested interest and it, it flopped. And um, some princes put the blame on Bernard saying that listening to your word we came. But this did not deter him because he did what the Pope said him to do. He did what he thought the Lord wanted him to do. He just preached the desire, the passion that he had. So dear brothers and sisters, how many people am I motivating towards Christ? How many people am I bringing towards Christ? How many people are changing their view about Christ through my words is a question. And what is the answer? Let's ask ourselves and ask what is the answer our conscience is giving? Are we really motivating or demotivating people through our life? Amen.